Hey guys, Phil here, hope you're all well. What you're looking at in front of you is the Xbox 360. I did the RGH 3.0 on in a previous video. As you can see, the LTU2 boards arrived. So what I want to do is I want to try and flash the Atachi DVD-ROM drive in this Xbox 360 Slim. So if you stick around, I'll crack on with that. Now before I begin guys, uh, if I sound a bit lethargic in this video, I just want to point something out. Uh, here in the UK where I live, uh, it's 39 degrees uh, at the moment and I'm actually sitting here melting. <laughs> what I need to do now is obviously get inside this Xbox 360 Slim. Now I'm not going to show you that because I showed you how to do that. Uh, in the previous video where I RGH 3.0'd uh, this Xbox 360 Slim. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get inside. As you can see, I'm in. What I want to do now is remove the DVD-ROM drive. Now there's actually nothing holding it in. The only thing I need to do is I need to remove the SATA cable and the power cable and then I can just pull out the DVD-ROM drive and as you can see it's the Hitachi DVD-ROM drive uh, taken out what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my laptop I'm going to get my X360 USB Pro 2 uh, and then I'm going to create a custom firmware and once I've done that I'll flash it to the LTU2 board and then swap the PCB that's in this drive with that LTU2 board and then hopefully we should have a drive with custom firmware that can load backup games so I'm ready to create the custom firmware the first thing I need to do is extract the key dot bin and CR dot bin file uh, from the NAND I dumped when I RGH 3.0 the console so I'm gonna run JR on a give it a few seconds there we go I'm going to load the NAND dump uh, that I did and it's in my flashing tools NAND and obviously when you dump the NAND you do two NAND dumps uh, it doesn't matter which one you load I'm just going to click on the first I'm going to open it and it should import my CPU key it has uh, another bit of important information if we go to the KV info we can see the firmware on the drive is 0500 so that's the firmware I'm going to have to program to the LT U2 board. So what I want to do now is just go over to NAND and press extract NAND. And there we go, that's the NAND extracted. So I'm going to go over to the root of my drive and go in here. And we should see there's a CR dot bin file I need challenge response that's what that stands for and there's the key dot bin file uh, for the drive DVD key so I'm going to copy those over to the root of my flashing folder and then I can create the custom firmware for the LTU2 board so I've gone ahead and copied and paste those two files the CR dot bin and the key dot bin file uh, to the root of my flashing tools folder what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my X360 USB Pro 2 set up uh, and then I'm going to create the custom firmware so I've hooked up my X360 USB Pro 2 uh, to the DVD ROM drive that allows me to pull over the unique information that's on the drive 
Uh, what I need to do now is I've got Jungle Flasher running so I'm all ready uh, to make the custom firmware. Uh, if you take a look you can see the drive is being recognized uh, in Jungle Flasher so I'm going to start making that custom firmware now so I'm going to go over to firmware tools and I need to open the target firmware which is obviously going to be that uh, LTU2 and it's going to be 0500 so I'm going to load that firmware in find it first and there it is LTU2 0500 that's the one I want I'm going to open that and there we go we can see uh, it's come up with a drive model uh, DL10N uh, 0500 is the firmware that's all correct uh, what I want to do now is I want to just right click here and load the key and the CR challenge response file so the first one I need to open um, is the key and if you remember I put that on the root of the flashing towards folder and there it is so I'm going to open that and that will copy my key over to the firmware and the next thing I need to load is the challenge response file and I'm going to open that now when I click OK uh, it should grab the unique information from the drive uh, it's gone ahead and done that what I'm going to do now is save the custom firmware so I'm going to just call it custom firmware and click save and that's it that's my custom firmware made for the LTU2 board so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to disconnect the old drive I'm going to hook up that LTU2 board uh, and flash it with this custom firmware I have the LTU2 board hooked up to my X360 USB Pro I'm ready to flash the custom firmware so what I need to do first is make sure I'm on fat that's correct and I need to intro device ID I need to wait a few seconds for it to come up uh, with a, a menu I need to click yes and power cycle the X360 USB on uh, really quick within one second so I'm going to click yes so power off power on and there we go drive is in vendor mode and as you can see the SPI is unlocked so I'm ready to write the custom firmware so I'm just going to click write and it's now writing the custom firmware and it's verifying it and there we go write verified successful so what I need to do now is lock the SPI by pressing the zero zero click yes it's the SPI locked and now all I need to do is outro uh, a few times uh, because it says uh, you need to do this in the in the guide because if you don't uh, the the drive can get stuck on the open tray error so you know just outro uh, a few times I like to do it five times uh, just to be sure there we go that's the fifth time okay and now you can see uh, that LTU2 board uh, has actually come up as the correct drive so yeah what I'm going to do now is going to get this all disconnected uh, and I'm going to swap out the old PCB in the drive for this now flashed with custom firmware LTU2 board and then hopefully 
we can play back up games. Time to get in this drive so I can swap out the PCB. First thing I want to do is remove the rubber dampening. Uh, that helps with vibration. Take that off. Uh, what I need to do next is remove a series of screws. Uh, there's two just here. There's a further two just here. And then on the opposite side is a further two. So if I get those screws off, I'll be able to get inside the drive. And as you can see, I'm in the drive. Uh, now the great thing about the Hitachi drives is there's nothing to solder. Um, everything is just push clipped. So I need to remove uh, the spindle motor. Very easy. Unclip it, pull it out. Same with the eject motor. Same again, I'll just unclip it. Pull it out. I need to do the laser assembly next. Unclip it. And should be able to. Guys, I had to jump cut that, sorry. It was being a pain. Uh, and I didn't want to obviously pull it out and rip it, so I did it off camera. Uh, do it better with two hands. Uh, now this one's a little bit more tricky because obviously it's right, buttered right up against uh, the actual drive case so the best thing to do is see this clip here push this clip and you can lever the board up like this uh, and then you can grab this and pull it out so what i'll do is i'll just put in the replacement ltu2 board uh, and then come back that's the ltu2 board with custom firmware installed let's put this drive back together pop it in the xbox and fingers crossed you can play backup games and as you can see I'm partially back together to give it a test so let's power on by pressing the ring of light on the controller let the Xbox 360 boot Okay, let's eject the drive, well the drive eject, so that was a good sign, let's put the game in, shut the drive, hopefully we get play Skyrim, what are you doing? Spin up, play game, show me the icon, there we go, winner winner, so if I press a uh, we should boot Skyrim and hopefully you can hear the drive spin up and we should be loading Skyrim and there we go winner winner so yeah what I'm gonna do now guys is I'm gonna spend 10 minutes uh, putting this Xbox 360 Back together again. Yay, we got a flash drive. <laughs> and we're all back together. So let's power on the ring of light on the controller. And we should get a boot uh, into Aurora. And there's Aurora and we booted into it so open the drive pop in Skyrim and hopefully we should see uh, the cover pop up uh, in Aurora and there's a spin up Skyrim and there's a the cover so yeah what that allows my friend to do now is he can put backup games in there and rip them straight to the hard drive where before obviously he couldn't do that because it was a stock drive so yeah there you go guys i hope you liked the video 
If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, all the usual stuff. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one. Winner, winner. Flash drive. Play backups. <laughs> catch you next time, guys.